Welcome dear subscribers and viewers of this channel. If it's your first time, consider taking a moment to subscribe. But today I want to share with you something which is very going to be important. That is my personal story. How I was in the church, CDA church, but still possessed by demons. I was a religious leader working trusted by the church members, uh, but still I had demons in me. So let me share with you, the story starts in 2012. That's the moment when I joined the SD church from Evangelical church. But before my originality is from a Roman Catholic church. And so uh, at the end of 2012, I joined the SD church. The story there is long, but that's next time when I will share about it, how it happened until I joined this church. And I was told the prophecies. I joined the church nearly, uh, the, it was the and 31st of November of December 2012 so just like 2013 is when I joined this church and uh, it was an end of the time when I uh, saw so the group that I found the church mostly were young that uh, that embarrassed me so I was taught prophecies we were studying prophecies keeping the Sabbath and all things sanctuary messages so I, I embraced that truth as something that was very precious to me and that's how I was able to remain in the church. So I worked there, I worked in the church. I worked as a literature evangelist uh, for in singing the choir, working, praying. I faced many challenges, but I was able to survive. In 2013, I joined, I joined the high the high school, advanced education, to continue with my studies. In 2013, I joined higher education to continue with my study. When I was there studying, I was selected to be the spiritual leader because I, I, I was seen like a person who is more spiritual minded and praying, studying prophecies, Ellen White books. And so I kept doing that and uh, I was selected to be a religious leader for the school and then I was selected as a religious leader for the whole region with the several districts. So I was supervising those regions, those uh, districts, uh, every those schools where many schools that I had to visit to make sure that they are strong spiritually. I was doing that generally not knowing what was inside me. And at the end, uh, in the end, it was the middle of the 2014. Uh, it's when we know these calm meetings. So there was a church, this is a church central that had to conduct their camp meeting. And then I joined there to attend the camp meeting. And the, the title of that camp meeting was Salvation in Christ Alone, which was preached by the pastor, David Mbaga. And in the middle of the camp meeting, the pastor started to sing. I enjoyed the sermons because it was uplifting Jesus telling us our salvation is by grace and something that which was new in my life. So I said I enjoyed the messages. I understood how God is love. And so in the middle of his teaching, um, nearly to the end, he started to sing the song, I need thee every hour. I need thee every hour. Then something strange started to happen in me. And what was that? That I started losing ability in my body. It was like I was swinging, swinging from here and there. Like this one, swing. I try, I said like, this is not normal. So I tried to resist because I'm a spiritual leader. How can I fall down? And he kept singing. He didn't know, but he was singing the song, uh, going to the prayer session. So when he was singing that song, I started to swing. I tried to resist my body. Hey, how can you fall down? Then I was never, I was, it was not, it was impossible for me to, to resist that power. It was beyond my resistance. And so I fell down and they came and took me. They started to pray for me and demons started to speak. And myself, I was speaking, but uh, I said like it was not me, somebody me was speaking. So the demons spoke and the pastor came and they grabbed me here like this and then commanded and demons left so i stood but the game was not over the game was not over. Then after that i went to the place where we are camping when i was there i started to sense another strange power in me and hands were moving like this one like snakes and those my fellow students who are sdas because they were we were camping in one place and so they saw that these are demons because of the movement of the body my eyes not i was quiet i was not speaking so they surrounded me and they started to pray for me and when they were praying for me I looked at them, they were powerless. Nothing could disturb me. I kept doing what I was doing, but still their powers did not change anything. So they put like, it's just like they were dancing. Nothing, nothing disturbed my, 
what I was doing. And so the prayer committees came. Some member from the prayer committee came and took me to the church. And there they started to pray. And demons possessed me that I was not doing anything. They prayed, they prayed, they prayed, they prayed. And though and that, uh, now I'm talking about the prayer committees. We who are not uh, students, but they were members of the church who were committed in prayer for those after that came meeting. And so they prayed for me. I don't remember how long did it took, but they prayed for me. And then I was delivered. I was delivered. And that was something which was good. And from that moment, uh, they called me the next day to tell them my story back, that they can break all things which are connection with those power in my life. So they, I told them my story where I come from and that and that and so they prayed to break all the power and so I was set free from that moment I enjoyed I enjoyed that camp meeting because I learned a lot about Jesus Christ and from that moment I started to learn more about Jesus and his love and salvation and I was free I was delivered demons did not ever come to live in me from that moment it's told why i don't usually share it with the people the reason is you know sometimes spiritual pride okay just like spiritual pride like uh how could people say that i was possessed by demons still in the church how is it possible for a person to be possessed by demons still in the church yes you can be you can join the church but still you come from the power i don't believe that those power came with i got them when i was the church what i think is I came with them. There are two, uh, there are two possibilities. Because I think maybe I came with them when I joined the church, and so I did not face any strong power to sh to make them feel irritated, so that they can block, they can just explode and be uh, chased away. Or after joining the church, some of the environments that I passed is where I got them. So those are uh, there are two reasons that I have that maybe were the source of those demons. But in my ministry before deliverance, I was doing all the things, teaching, preaching, evangelism, and uh, witnessing, distributing books, guiding people in the spiritual things, talking to them, preaching prophecies. And by that moment, I, I liked to preach prophecy. And so I was teaching prophecies, all the prophecies, Revelation, Daniel, current event, but that, by that moment, because uh, it was hot period if you can remember because by that time Pope Francis was the one, new Pope and the previous the former uh, Pope was Pope Benedict and he had resigned and so there was some of the movement moments concerning with the prophecies fulfillment something new he might be the last Pope and those things were there so I was studying more digging deep on prophecies studying the enjoy the books, but that did not save me. So I don't know where I got them, but those were possible reasons or possible sources. But the, the moment came when I made the strong power which was able to shake those demons in me. You can say, how can you pray, lead, be in the church, still demons kept quiet? It depends on the demons that you have. You can enter the church, pray, be prayed for, but still, if you have strong demons, they cannot be shaken by normal power. That's what happens. Not all demons can be chased away by normal prayer. There are other demons which are weak, which cannot even enter into the church. But you know, there are demons which are very strong. They need strong power. That's what I think. I had demons which were very strong that did not move me to do other things, but still they kept possessing me to lead me to do what they wanted, but not those things which were sinful. Just like they did not want me to do other things in my life. That's what they spoke. And I don't want to repeat what they said, because I'm not doing to obey. So they spoke other things. I know the devil is a deceiver, so I cannot trust his word. And uh, what I remember is they were in me, I did not know. I was going to church, I was attending the church, I was praying some, and many of my prayers were answered, but still demons were in me. But when I met the strong power from that pastor, and that pastor is known to have the, the spiritual power, like uh, it's a gift of healing okay, and deliverance. An SDA pastor is famous in our country. He has a YouTube channel. And so when I met him is when my deliverance happened. Because his power is very strong compared to mine. And so I was delivered. I, 
the demons could not persist to live in such a situation where he was seeing and angels maybe were moving the power of God and so demons were not able to sustain, to live in me while being in those environments. And that was the plan of God to me, for me to be there because that's a single come meeting from the school that we were allowed to attend for seven days at the camp meeting. We were allowed to camp. And that the school was public school and it's still the public school. But that was the only moment when students were allowed to go from the school to remain in the camp meeting for seven days. That's a single moment. And I believe that was the power of God and the, it was the intention of God to save me. That's why he, pro, he allowed that uh, headmaster to allow me to to come and not me alone with other federal uh, Adventist students to come to the camp meeting because we traveled. We took the car, we carried our, 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 our mattresses, we came to the camp meeting and we came there attending all the sessions of the camp meeting, sermons and all things that were supposed to be done. I still remember that camp meeting till today because it changed my life and that was my first time when I met Jesus. What the intention of this story is to, to, to be free that there's a moment where you may think that you're free but still you have demons is to keep seeking God and when you will be exposed to the power above the power which is in you, things shall be revealed. And if you find yourself having demons, do not think like you are evil, like you don't know the region, you are doing sins. There are many sources and reasons for a person to be possessed by demons. Because those are demons. They are Satan's agencies. And so we cannot say that if because you have demons that you are spiritually weak and that, no. Because the others who have demons, but still they are silent. And so just trust in the word of God and deliverance can happen. So keep moving to the, those environments where meetings are done, spiritual meetings, prayers. If you have them, they will explode. But one thing that made them to not come back, it is the presence of Jesus. Jesus took, the, took this heart and they made it his and lived in me. From that moment, demons has never got a chance to live in me. There are many stories that I want to give. From that moment and before that moment, the many stories which I can narrate to you. But if you want them, remember to subscribe, share this video, and then you shall see many and hear many stories from me and other lessons that I want to share with you. May God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.